Okay, let's get straight into the actions. Norwich City versus Chelsea. If you did pause it there, you'd see the lineup. Uh, it's pretty a decent normal lineup as usual, but we do score from there. West Houdan. I do actually love uh, I do love that shot the way he does it. I do really love it. Wait, you'll see in a replay here. He just curls it with his outside of his foot. I think was it? Yes, it was. Nice week, Carl. I love that from FIFA. I think it's only on next gen. I don't know if it was on the old gen or not or whatever. Because I'm not actually sure. I need to look back on that. But I love them shots. But that was Wes Hulahan, and he is gonna do a wee dance because he knows we're beating Chelsea one nil. Um, which is good, 17 minutes in, it's the 85th minute, what has happened, here's Oscar, 1H, that was a brilliant goal from uh, Oscar, I, um, when I thought I was in, I was just like, what? Uh, but, you know, it's not game over, anyone can take a point home at least, I will do the rest of this game, as you know, but, anyone can still take any points home, but so yeah. So yeah, Gary Hooper. Um, uh, so yeah, Gary Hooper here. He scores a header. I was I was thinking he does score a header. I wasn't sure if it was this episode or not, but like he does score a header. He does score against Chelsea. Two minutes from kickoff. Brilliant, well deserved header from Guy Hooper. It's he scored. Uh, I saw it from the well, and aside from the replays and stuff. He uh, he scored two goals this season, and they were actually both headers, which is actually pretty good. His head is really good. Hooper's. I think he got a header against Southampton last episode four. I'm not sure now, but I'll have to look on back on that. I know this was supposed to be four, like, but I've done what I've done is I left. I'm gonna sim the Bolton game uh, on episode five. Yeah, and then I'm gonna do December on episode six, which hopefully might. Um, I'll see. Oh, I don't know. But we're, we're just waiting for the whistle to go. Um, uh, Mark Swozer is, is in that for Chelsea instead of Petrček. I don't think Petrček left him. I just don't think he gets played now. I don't know why. EA, yeah, it's just EA, yeah, you know. EA. Yeah. But uh, we do get stuck into the Arsenal game here. Against Norwich, Ricky Van Wolfswinkel with the goal last so to make it. Arsenal nil, Norwich one. Um, I forgot to. I actually must have accidentally deleted the lineup for this one. But it was like I don't think I made that much changes. Just really as usual. I don't know if I had a Quinio or not in it. I don't think I did, man. Yeah, that was um. Ricky Van Wolfswinkel, let's get on to the subject. As you see, just sit more goals pass back. I might as well just talk through it because they're all bad. But yeah, Ricky Van Wolfswinkel. He scored, that's his first goal for Norwich. And first goal. You know what it looks like on this? It was like November. Like, and they do score uh, Santi Carzola. I know it's like November time, but Ricky Van Wolfswinkel. He's not done the greatest, like, he hasn't really, you know, he isn't the greatest, though, I don't think, but they do score again, I think it was Sanagu, I wasn't sure he scored it, Dad made it 2-1, now I will this, and, um, yeah, if, hit this like button, please, that would be very grateful, subscribe, um, follow me on Twitter, it's in the link to the description below, if I remember to put it there. 
But uh, Arsenal do get corner by corner. So it was dreadful. And this game looked like it was truly well and well made over. You know? But um, I'm just going to go try and talk about a few players this season. Let's start off with Aquino. I did bring him in on... I did bring Aquino... What was that? Yeah, he brought him in in August. He hasn't really done the job for me. I know I play Robert Snodgrass. It's just because Robert Snodgrass is far better than Aquino. Don't... Like... I need, I'm gonna check on peace and all. I need that's what I need to do, but like you know. But um, here's the final whistles just about to go, and they have just missed. Maybe I put the four one up, but they missed. And the referee's blew the whistle for full time. It ended as Arsenal three and one. Yeah, this was the thing that I saw here. You will see now. It's very EA logic. Just EA logic. You'll see here, I uh, pulled them on me, but I rejected it in the end because I only want Northern Ireland, Brazil, or England to take me on. I don't even know why though. But um, as you will see here, as we advance on to the player conversations, saying, I think I was just reading all this, that's why. But yeah. But yeah, here we are, Wesley Hulaham. Read that. It's like, uh, I know I've been playing well for the club and stuff. And he says, wait, look at the bottom here. He says, uh, different food. First, he's from the Republic of Ireland. Technically, it's in the island of, he's in the British Islands. I know you could say, uh, I don't know Ireland's not British and all, but he says different food. Have you ever been, I don't think Hulahan's ever been to Ireland. The food is a sack that seemed to English food. I, I don't know if you've been to uh, Repo- uh, Ireland or not, but I have, and their food is the sack same as English freaking food. Their country, like their traditions or stuff, same as the freaking Irish ones. All they call is, because I think Irish people call soccer football, and English people call football football. I don't know why, and you hardly want to go back home where there's like Bray Wanders and all, like crap, crap the day and stuff. Oh crap ones, but we are going into our, our, our fat last game of the episode um, against Cardiff City. This is like one of them hardly really boring games, so it is. So, Nelly Chair hit he will pass it to Tep. No, he doesn't get stuck up. But here's Tep. Hey! And it ends no, no, because the referee throws a whistle after that attack. That was the probably the best chance Norwich could have had in that game, or any team at least. But it does end no, no. And I will see you soon. Ta-da.